Thank you very much. Well, no gym, no problem. While gym doors remain closed due to the stay at home orders, many are still finding ways to stay active. Amy Kawada explains how local trainers are still connecting with clients through this pandemic. Stress can be a silent killer. It can actually manifest itself in body aches, headaches, uh, muscle stiffness and things of that nature. And if you're feeling any of those signs, you're probably not alone at this point. Exercising and releasing those endorphins and the dopamine can actually relieve stress. To encourage staying active while social distancing, many gyms like Merit Clubs and Planet Fitness are offering virtual workouts online. It's just about moving um, and doing whatever makes you feel good and helps to lift you up. Planet Fitness launched a campaign called United We good Move, evening, offering 20-minute home work-ins streamed good. live every day at 7 p.m. on their Facebook page. We're bringing the gym to their living room. And fitness trainers say you don't necessarily need to have standard weights to work out. You can really use anything laying around your home, like water bottles, canned goods, or just your body weight. Merit Club sends out weekly memos to their clients to stay connected, such as ideas to get active with your kids and healthy recipes to prepare at home. Mental health is also something to keep a close eye on during these times. That's why experts say having someone to hold you accountable and check up on you is invaluable. A lot of our general managers and directors have actually just been calling our members to reach out touch base, say hi, how are you? In the meantime, fitness trainers say they're committed to continuing to provide healthy and safe alternatives to keep us all moving. I know for one, one thing that won't change is the need to stay active and stay moving. And local gyms like Merit Club says they're working on how to operate their facilities once they're able to reopen, like putting procedures in place and ramping up sanitary measures. But for now, for WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada.